This is NDTV. And you're watching NDTV Hindu. Kerala turns the temple town of Sri Rangam green announces a manifesto promises free laptops mixies grinders cows goals and bus passes is the state headed towards bankruptcy with each are doing the others manifesto full of free gifts are we forgetting to vote for development Kanadi does go green over Jai Lalita party color or manifesto he says he is not worried and will be happy if she keeps her promises <laughs> Disclosure of assets by heavyweights springs a surprise. Jaya's total assets doubles to 51 crores, while Chief Minister apparently doesn't even have a car. The resignation of Dr. Decol is rejected. Dr. Decol was responsible for Sadiq Basha's post-mortem, an NETV Hindu exclusive. Comedian takes on the hero Vadivel attacks Vijay Kant. The captain gives a fitting reply with a punch dialogue. And the master blaster bars out after hitting a 50 reaches the 18k mark, but still shy of 100 tons. Meanwhile, India continues the hunt for victory. Well, a very good evening and welcome to Late Night News with me, Ashmit Kumar. Let's take a quick look at stories coming in from across the nation. While the government says a probe is on in the cash for vote scandal, a BJP MP who was a key player says no one has questioned him till now. Former BJP leader Sudhindra Kulkarni tells NDTV that the cash for vote sting was conducted at the behest of his top leadership. An RTI reply to NDTV shows how Suresh Kalmadi played a direct role in causing a 10 crore rupee loss in the Commonwealth Games. A top Congress leader from Bihar, Amalendu Pandey, is graded by the Enforcement Directorate in the Hassan Ali case. And two women in a village in Haryana take on the Khan Panchayat, which has condoned the gruesome murders of their loved ones. While the ruling DMK labelled its election manifesto the heroine of April 13 polls, another heroine has now joined the fray with much more promises of freebies. The main opposition AIDMK has gone a step further than its arch rival DMK, which promises of more freebies if voted to power in the April 13th assembly polls. Now, Peer Mohammed brings us this report from Trichy. Two heroines vying for one hero has often been the norm in Tamil films. Now, it has come to politics as well. The DMK's manifesto promised either a mixie or a grinder for all women. AADMK Supremo Jalalita has now said that her party would give women an electric fan, a mixie and a grinder if she is elected to power. <laughs> Fan, or a mixi, or a grinder, agi a moon to put it in, Ilavasamaka Vadakapad. If the DMK offered free laptops to college students, the Queen Bee has said she would give free laptops to plus two students and students of government colleges as well. While the DMK offered free bus passes to the elderly, the AIA DMK's manifesto has promised free homes for the elderly, the destitute, and orphans with three meals as well. Its offer of 60,000 cows for 6,000 villages to increase milk production is aimed at the rural water. The impact of the offer of free color television sets by the DMK was felt among the rural electorate in the 2006 assembly elections. The AADMK has taken a cue from that. While the AADMK is banging upon the 2G spectrum scam to connect with the urban water, it depends on the freebies to connect with the rural voters. In Tirichi, Pir Muhammad, NDTV Hindu. Well, it's a war of uh, populism, quite literally. With the election manifesto of the two major Dravidian parties out in the open, the people of Tamil Nadu have their task cut out. The onus is now on the common man to carefully go through the bag of goodies from both these camps and then make an informed decision. The freebies uh, might have grabbed uh, many an eyeball, but a pertinent question arises over the money spent on these free goodies. Lokpriya has this analysis. The election freebies war in Tamil Nadu has reached its peak. From free electricity to BPL families to free laptops to college students. 
Both the DMK and the AIDMK are running a manifesto marathon. The attractive freebies, ranging from fridges to mixies to grinders and laptops, is more evident than a promise to develop the state and eradicate corruption and poverty. The massive SOPs announced by the ruling party in the last five years have cost the exchequer a whopping 12 crore rupees. Just the flagship freebie of colour television sets has cost the state 4,000 crore rupees so far. Ironically, 50% of Tamil Nadu's population buys rice at 1 rupee a kilo. However, studies show that most of these families have not risen from below the poverty line. Are freebies just an attempt to win votes? It's a classic case of treating the symptom and not the disease. While the Dravidian majors are aiming to provide an immediate logistic solution to living, the manifestos really do not aim at larger development of the state and its people. Skeptics now ask whether you and I as taxpayers are being bribed indirectly for votes every five years. In Chennai, with Peer Mohammed, Lok Priya, NDTV Hindu. Well, addressing uh, this debate, this question with freebies on one hand and development on the other, Radhika Ayer, our senior editor, actually took up this question with uh, some of the senior and respected analysts uh, from the state. Let's listen into what they had to say. Is the freebie better than development? You tell us. You uh, have been following Tamil Nadu politics for a while now. What should the voter look for? That is uh, the first very question. And also having worked and having uh, covered Jaya Lalitha for several years in your magazine itself, would you think that it was a conscious attempt by her to outdo Mr. Karunanidhi in the election manifesto? <laughs> Well, um, uh, assuring um, free things to the people has become inevitable in this state after what the DMK has been doing. Uh, every party has to assure something, otherwise the people may be terribly disappointed. Uh, while I would not say that this is the right thing for any political party, but uh, it has become the practice in the state and everyone has to make a promise. The people expect it. Would you think and would you agree, Mr. Cho, that the state is headed for bankruptcy at this stage? Well, you see, people have been getting certain things free or at least subsidized for quite a long time. And even in Western countries, um, there has been unemployment dole, though many countries are regretting it now. Well, it has been the trend everywhere, but here, because of poverty, whenever something is promised, they feel, the people feel fascinated and uh, thrilled. I don't think it is the right thing for any uh, political party or government to do, but still, one has to reckon with the uh, practical situation that is existing here, that the people expect it. A political party cannot uh, expect to survive without... Uh, acting up to the people's expectations. Let me bring in Mr. Shanmuga Velayudam. He's a professor of social work from Loyola College. What do you think uh, is unprecedented at this stage? We've seen color in Tamil Nadu like no state can possibly see. But is it getting back to worse, this pattern of freebies? And you as a voter, what would you be looking for in a manifesto? Is it policy changes? Is it development? Or are you, uh, honestly tell us, are you also attracted by the freebies being a professor of social work? Really, we are uh, downgrading and also what happened, it is like a freebies war. One party wise against another giving more and more doldrums, this type of charity based thing. Really, it may not help for Tamil Nadu state people and also voters. Really, government and political parties, they should have a visionary point of view regarding what way we have to improve the state. Really, the infrastructure development. They have to create a lot of employment opportunities. What we need is a quality education, not for free laptop, free computer laptop and other things. These are all not needed at all. What they need, what is a quality education for the people? As on date, if you think about CBC pattern of education and state board of education, CBSE per student, government of India, they spend a lot of money. On the other hand, Tamil Nadu government, they spend very poor quality sum. So definitely the quality is gone down. We have to improve the education. Anganwadi, health system, electricity, then really you can have the employment automatically there. The purchasing power will improve it. True. Automatically they can purchase all the wet grinder, all other things they can purchase. It's not a government should do it. It is True. like a cheating the people. That's my personal thing. It's like a bribe. 
Well, freebies versus uh, development, a riveting question that. And we have been getting a lot of feedback on our website with regard to what the people have to say, what our viewers have to say about this one interesting question here. In fact, uh, Professor Sailapati and Professor Vijay Lakshmi have sent in their feedback after view viewing this uh, special segment on NDTV Hindu. In fact, they say, and I quote, now the freebies are there in every election manifesto and so it will uh, not be tilting the scales in this election. The parties will be making more promises and none are now constrained by their policy into playing this foolhardy to their best of their ability. In a way, it is a return to socialist pattern of economy and so the people are now going to expect the government to provide them the best of things free of cost. Now, in fact, and speaking of feedbacks, we have uh, a lot of uh, feedback coming in and uh, there are some other gentlemen who also uh, posted in their views. In fact, we have Mr. S. Uh, S. W. Surendra. Uh, he had to say that, uh, and I quote again, the election commission ought to have uh, banned the issuance of election manifesto by the political parties as soon as the election dates were announced. When the state's uh, finance position is in doldrums, where will the new government go and beg, borrow or steal to meet the additional expenditure for the freebies? It is only the taxpayers' money which will be used, unquote. So again, so interesting views coming in from our viewers. Of course, uh, our website is open for your comments. You can always write into us at feedback at NDV Hindu ndtv-hindu.com. Let's move ahead now. Meanwhile, Jalalta began her campaign from Trichy. In a marked shift from her earlier approach, she was seen engaging the people and taking up their concerns. And the one issue that she tried to drive home was uh, the sensitive issue of price rise. Let's listen in to her claims at the beginning of her poll campaign. <laughs> Well, we are just beginning to give you a sense of the political action that we saw throughout today. We'll get you more updates on the action from the political theatre in just a bit. Keep watching NDTV Hindu.